I will now demonstrate how to import your data from PLOG Cloud into GIMP. Separate videos will be shown as to how to import your data from PLOG into Holebase and PLOG into Logplot. Importing data into ESDAT happens automatically through the LSpec system. So I'm going to first create a new data or new project based on a data template. I'm going to use our standard files that Data Forensics has developed. Call this Training Project 1. So your GIMP files may look slightly different from this, but the process should be the same, assuming it has been integrated with PLOG. First, you need to make sure you're using the correct library. You can do that by changing your library. In this case, I want to use my DF standard US. I must also have installed the PLOG Cloud Connect, which allows me to import data. So I have to be using the correct library as well as having the that installed. I'm going to then go to import from PLOG and I will log in with my username. So the same username you would use on your tablet will give you access to your PLOG Cloud account. Once you have logged in, a dialog box will appear that lists all of the projects that you have in your cloud account that are active. You can go to your cloud account and you can make them inactive whenever you would like. For this example, I am going to find that 2014 traditional. And you'll notice that in I actually have two different projects that have the same 2014-traditional project ID. And that's because we did this to demonstrate how or why you might want to use sampling plans. Because if you have two separate projects that are created on two separate tablets, it will create them as two separate projects on the cloud. You'll notice that each of them has a GUID, a globally unique identifier. This applies whether it's projects or boreholes, samples, layers, you name it. Every record that you create on the tablet has a GUID so that if you change it on the tablet, it knows which record to change in the cloud. All right, so I believe it is this project, the 2014 traditional down here. And I am going to look for, and here you'll notice there's two B-13s because those were also created on two different tablets. Two B-14s created on two different tablets as well. B-16 is the one that I was just working on, and I want to only import that one. You must be using the correct correspondence file that was set up to use with your GANT files. Your override options of never or empty fields are what we typically recommend in 99% of scenarios. Uh, name fields, records, and data sets are are more uh, potentially catastrophic from the standpoint if you have changed data in GENT, you're potentially going to lose those changes if you re-import that same data from PLOG. So never in empty fields is what we recommend. We also recommend that you only import boreholes that have been completed on the tablet because this will simplify your data management process and then worrying about never in empty fields is even less of a concern. So we're gonna choose B16 empty fields, and we are going to include photos in the download, and we're going to create the photo folder. What that will do is actually create a separate folder that contains all of the photos, and it will be named Training Project 1 Photos. I'm then going to click OK, and it will download the photos as well as all the data into Gantt. If there's any if there's any errors, it will indicate messages such as this. It's telling me that it couldn't write any data into discontinuities because that I don't have a table called discontinuities in my current Gantt project. If there's particular records that can't be imported, it's telling you exactly that. Okay, so here we go. We have our information. We have our borehole that we, we started doing, our location. We have our soil descriptions. You'll notice the same layers that we had in there. We have our lithology rock that we described the limestone. We have the various different samples, 
SPTs, Shelby tubes, rock cores. If I click on the associated photo, there you will see my picture. Similarly, if I go to the location visit, where I took that other photo, there you'll see my picture again. And if I go to remarks, you'll see the rough drilling we had at 28 feet. Uh, there's also a well construction that I did not demonstrate. Environmental measurements that we made. There's our one water level that was made. There's our pocket pan measurements. And that pretty much covers it. So if I go preview this, I can preview that log. And there you'll see a completed borehole log in Ghent. Any changes that you need to make to your borehole log in Ghent are the same as what you would do today. Essentially, once you have the data from P-Log, there's no differences from what people are doing in Ghent today.